Wow. Yeah, good. All right, Shalom. First and wow. foremost, we want to give all praises to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahushai, Hashem, Rakhadash. Double honor to our elders, the apostles, great millstone, and honest to you, brothers, who are out there doing the work in sincerity and in truth. Shalom. All right, this lesson is getting into hastening the day. All right, because at the end of the day, man, you got a whole. Hey, look, we all in this thing together, bro. So at the end of the day, we know that you got other things going on in your life. And like uh, um, it said in Ephesians chapter 6, you got to put on that whole armor of your how by Shem and All right? And you have to protect yourself with this word. You have to cleanse your way with this word. All right? You got all these things going on. But also, there's a bigger picture, all right? And the bigger picture is for us to ultimately receive salvation, not what you like and don't like about this society. That's not, that's not your main focus right now, all right? Your main focus should be salvation, all right? And if you a leader amongst brothers, you a head of a camp or you, you a man of rank, your, your mind needs to be on making sure brothers are prepared with this mindset, all right? Not all that extra or, or you don't like this or that or whatever character flaws you feel about a man. No, everybody got flaws. The whole key is the salvation. And that's what we're waiting for. And that's what we uh, are, are, are dealing with when it comes to the uh, the times that we in, because these times it's gonna be salvation, but also it's gonna be death, pain, weeping, and gnashing of teeth. All right, go ahead. All right, this is Ephesians chapter six, verse. Uh, I'm gonna start at verse ten. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of His might. Put on the whole armor of the Most High that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the of the devil. Mm -hmm. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Right, so it's not just you mad at the fact that you got, the, uh, that you hate your job, all right? It's not just you, all right? There is motivation behind that. <laughs> it's spiritual wickedness in high places that you're battling against that the average individual that's in the world don't have to go through. Jake in the world ain't got to go through that. Jake in the world don't have to worry about battling his woman. Jake in the world don't have to worry about uh, 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 hating Esau or knowing a man his enemy or or making sacrifices. Jake said they sold just to have a record deal. Mm -hmm. So how much, man, you think this man care about the most high? No, he don't. So you have us, man. We're doing the things that the Lord commanded us to do. But also at the same time, it's all about the salvation. It's all about the things that we're supposed to come together as brothers and make a good example and, and fulfill the will of Yahweh Shem Al Shai. All right? Not to worry about everything that's going on out and about in this world. Hey, we got to put that whole armor on of Yahweh Shem Al Shai. We feel that and we good. That's why I said, hey, the name of the Lord is like a strong tower. All right? That's that armor. You hearing about everything that's going on on the outside, but you still in that strong tower. So they shooting arrows, Satan doing whatever he do, and it's just bouncing off the tower. That's it, you know, go ahead. This is uh, Ephesians chapter six, and I'm gonna start at verse 10. It says, finally, my brethren, be strong in Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of the Most High, that he may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. 
Mm-hmm. Hey, hey, real quick, if I'm gonna add, the wiles goes into the trickery, mm-hmm. the trickery of Satan, which is what he's doing right now. Is he's uh, through his media, through all his, his propaganda, he's he, he's throwing out those wiles. So what you you need to have this armor so that you can escape those things, so you be mm-hmm. able to defend or uh, deflect the wiles of the devil. Because this man, he's a, a, the master of deception. All right. So this man, all you just turn on the news, you gonna see the wiles of the devil. Cause he's trying to he's trying to be that trickster man you know that's one that's like a heavy demon you know that trickster demon man huh. you know uh, uh, to deceive you huh. yeah. like it, like i said you know the uh, truth should should uh set you free man mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying knowing this knowledge you know what i'm saying this this strong tower you know you know what i'm saying it's like it's like a warning you know you know what i'm saying if a person tell you that there's a tiger down at the uh, stop sign See, you not go uh, go that way. You go make a U turn and go the other way. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So the so this truth, you know what I'm saying, warn you against the wiles, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, of uh, Satan, man. Wisdom and knowledge yeah. is the stability yeah. of our times. Yeah. And also what you were getting into that also goes into how the scriptures say in the book of Proverbs. A prudent man look it well to his going, yeah, yes, but the simple passes on and are right. punished. Yes, right. Like you said, I tell you, the tiger down the road, he like, man, I don't trust none of that dumb ass shit. So you drive down the road anyway, and you end up getting eaten by the tiger. That's right. All right? That's the way that this works. That, that's how it's going in this society. That's why Wisdom of Solomon chapter 5 is explaining it that way. Because these people, they're going to talk down on the prophets. They're going to think what they think. They're going to do what they do. If you got a woman right now, you might have a different one two weeks from now. And you want to know why? Because she probably going to leave your ass. Because like she don't believe in you. But at the end of the day, right. what you say? Lack of faith. Mm-hmm. Lack of faith. But in the end, that lack of faith is going to be thrown back in their face. Mm-hmm. And they're like, wait a minute. If that woman left you, she's going to be like, wait a minute. That was the guy I was laying up with. Yep, it is the guy you was laying up with. And uh, you're still about to get destroyed in nuclear destruction, you know? Uh, uh, all right, so because uh, we was mentioning how, you know, being this truth and uh, it, it prepares you for what's going on there and how the Lord is a strong tower. This is uh, Psalms 91. And I'm um, sorry, verse 1 it says, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. So mm-hmm. going back to what we were talking about, you know, putting on the whole armor, this is the, is this truth, man. All right, you have to be fully indulged in these scriptures and these words, man. All right, and in doing that, okay, that's where you get that wisdom because the scriptures tell you with all that getting, get understanding. All right, you're going to get that wisdom, understanding, and knowledge that's going to be uh, meet and suffice for you in those days of peril, man. All right, which is the belief in Yahweh Shemel Shah, man. And then in turns, the Lord going to protect you because you was abiding in his words all those times, man. That's right. You know? Mm-hmm. Hey, that's why the scriptures say, fight, uh, strive unto the truth unto death, and the Lord shall fight for thee, man. Right, that's right. You know? mm-hmm. that, that's the Lord. If you strive for the truth, or right? you, you do this, this you, you, you fighting for the Lord right now, guess what? The Lord's going to fight for you in that day with, with what? That armor, all right? The helmet of salvation, that sword. Right. All right, so the, that, but what? You have to put it, you have to be found worthy to get that. Right. You know? Right. Uh, I'm going to jump down to verse 10. Uh, Psalms 91 10, there shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come by thy dwelling. Right, but real quick, that ain't for everybody. Right. You have to, uh, uh, just to say, uh, uh, make you call an election sure, man. Right. You have to be found, go ahead, I, yeah, somebody, go ahead, bro. No, I'm just to say, you got, you got to be found worthy. You know, I, I like, I, I, lately the Spirit been on me to keep saying that. You got, you got to put in your work to be found worthy, man. This ain't just, this is, this is in America. You get a participation trophy, right? Right. Go ahead. Uh, I was gonna say, verse one tell you who that's for. Mm-hmm. You read verse one. That's yeah. what's yeah. on the. That's what verse ten they, applied to. They mm-hmm. Them that dwell in the secret place of the Almighty. That's right. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, verse ten again it says, "There shall no evil before thee, neither shall any plague come like that dwelling." And that's mighty because you, you mentioned out the first verse to tell you what it is. Mm-hmm. And we went into Ephesians that, that whole shield. Uh, and tell you above all faith, right? Uh, keeping the shit of faith. All right. So if you believe in Yahweh Shemel Shah, which is his name, that strong tower that's gonna protect you. Mm-hmm. Guess what, man? Gen- uh, 
uh, Sirach, the second chapter, there in verse 10, look at the generations of old. All right. of them that called on the Lord who believed, they got protected, man. Right, right, right. So what do you expect is going to happen to you if you believe in the Lord and you've been abiding in his word since you, uh, since he brought you into the truth and you wholeheartedly believe, man? Right. You're going to be protected. No evil won't come your way, man. And that's, so, that's why Ephesians 10 said put on the whole armor. The yeah. only person they can put on the armor if the armor is given to you. Right. right. Ooh, right. The armor right. has to be given right. to you by your heart by your side. That's right. Which is uh, Psalm 91 and 1. Right. 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 I got I got something to back you up. With that. Yeah. Uh, Romans 8 and verse 35. He said, who shall separate you? Uh, us. I mean, who shall separate us mm -hmm. from the love of Amashiach and Havashiach? Shall tribulation or disgrace or prosecution or famine or nakedness or peril or the sword? As it is written, for for thy sake we are killed all the day long. We are counted as sheep, you know what I'm saying, for the slaughter. Yeah. You, know, you know what I'm saying? And, and uh, that's part of having the whole uh, armor, you know what I'm saying? The Most High loves us, you know what I'm saying? And he loves, the, I mean, he chastised the one that he loved, man. Mm -hmm. You know? Right. I mean, the part of having the whole uh, armor, and that what builds your faith, man. You know what I'm saying? When you... You know what I'm saying? When you have that mindset that your house shot is for you, the your, your house shot is dealing with you. You know what I'm saying? And that boosts your face up, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. so. uh, um, I wanted to say something on that because that's one of my favorite precepts that, uh, that Romans 8. Because it said, who shall separate you from the, you know, uh -huh. uh, shall this and that. And yeah. the Heavenly Father already know the answer. Going back to you saying the armor got to be given to you. Right. The Lord already know the answer, man. Because right. the scriptures tell you in the in the Gospels, uh, 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 nobody shall pluck these out of my hands. Right. You know what I'm saying? God, God, God. So we, you know, the Lord brought us into the truth. And the scriptures say if he began this good work in us, he's going to finish it, man. God, so we God. have to wholeheartedly believe in that and fight. God, God, God. Get that. If I may, this is uh, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, uh, verse verse 8. It says, But let us who are of the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love, and for an helmet the hope of salvation. For Yahweh hath not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, who died for us that whether we wake or sleep, we should live together with him. Okay, so the whole point that the whole armor of Yahweh B'Hashim Yahushua was given to us, you know, this faith, or this truth, this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding so that we can apply it and so that we won't be destroyed with the world. That's right. right. Okay. All right. And it's because Yahweh Shai, you know, Yahweh B'Hashim Yahushua has not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Yahweh Shai, man. Okay. So whether we live or die on the side, you know, before we see, you know, the return of the Lord, we could be accepted with him, man. All right. So that we could be delivered, man. And that's the point, man. That's the whole point of Applying these scriptures, letting these scriptures uh, wash and clean your mind, like it says, you know, by the washing of the water, by the word, okay, applying the scriptures, all right, letting them change how you think, how you react and deal with situations, all right, so that you can overcome, so that you can be able to stand in the evil day, having done all to stand, right. all right, so that we may be saved, man, that's the whole point, all right, the Lord's not seeking to destroy us, like the brother went into, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai does love us, man, and he's given us the tools to make it out, man, that's right, right. And I want to bring up the script, the script that uh, Brother Shamar had, had quoted it because it all begins with belief, man. Uh -huh. The belief has to be there. This is uh, uh, Philippians 1 and 6. It says, being confident of this very thing that he that had begun a good work in you will perform it until the days of Yahweh Shammashiach. The good works is him giving you the belief and the faith and then giving you the, the armor. Like he gives you the armor because he knows that you're gonna be up against a, a strong spiritual battle. Right. So that to keep you in, you know, in in tune with the faith that you continue on. So you have to believe that he began that work, and you're gonna see that work through, you know, through to the end. Which like this brother was saying, being delivered. That's right. Yeah. Finish that up, bro. Yeah, yeah that's real. <laughs> Read the 16, bro. Come on, I got you. All right, back to Psalms 91 in uh, verse 11. It says, for he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. Mm -hmm. So so the, the ones who dwell in, in, the, in the spirit of Yahweh Shemash, abide to his word, the Lord literally is appointing angels to protect us, man, and guard the right. right. man. That's right. You know what I'm saying? That's right. Uh, verse, verse 12. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against the stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and the dragon shall shall thou trample under feet. 
because he hath set his love upon me, therefore will I uh, come. I'm going to reread that. Verse 14. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. Mm -hmm. I will set him on high because he hath known my name. That's it. Yeah, right. that, goes, That's right. that goes back to uh, uh, verse 1, and it also goes into Proverbs 18 and 10. Mm -hmm. The Lord, name, the name is a strong tower, as his brother uh, quoted uh, earlier. The name was a strong tower. The righteous run in it and they're safe. So they believe they give them a name. The name is one of the, the uh, strongest part of, of, of the walk that we have. Mm -hmm. Believing on a name and being able to call upon a name with faith and belief. Mm -hmm. And every brother that calls upon that name has been given trials and tribulations where they needed that name, used that name, and got through. Because mm -hmm. they believed in that name. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So these are things that 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 that's most high set up for you for you to what? Succeed. So you won't fail. To strive for the truth, the, to strive for the truth of the death, and He will fight for you. Mm -hmm. So these are things are given to the men of the Lord, and given the two thirds. The two thirds was given to you as a, a swift destruction that's coming your way. You ain't gonna have no, you ain't gonna have. The, he ain't loaded you up with the armor. Uh, he, he he got you butt naked out there. That's right. You know, spiritually butt naked first, and you're gonna be fierce physically. Cause he saw gonna strip you. Come to to Go ahead. I, no, I, was just, uh, sorry. I was just saying that's the spirit you said that because uh, the Lord said uh, when you come you, you have to be keeping your garments. You yeah. Right, right, right. 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 These dudes, they naked out here. They ain't got and, no armor and, 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 and the garments is the truth, man. Yeah. But, but when you have to put it on, you can't that's just right. have the garment right. and <laughs> throw it over your shoulder, you know what I'm saying, and walk around with No, you, you got to be wearing it, you know, proudly. Because, you know, not in the sense of Esau, but being proud to, to uh, of our father you have watching our side you know yeah. you know we, we we proud to say that we the the the, the house sons right put on that uh that beautiful uh, garments mm -hmm. Zion, mm -hmm. man, it's true man <laughs> right you know yeah. hey this this uh this um this knowledge and this understanding is, is our garments and it was given to us you know, so that we could uh, reaffirm our confidence in Yahweh man. That's right. And in His dealings with us, man. That's why we go out there and preach the word boldly. Okay. That's why we, uh, you know, we out there in the open like that. You know, yeah. preaching the word, putting our lives on the line. We don't give no fuck because <laughs> Yahweh is with us. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's just how it go. And, and and whoever don't like it cannot like it, and they can get their ass judged by Yahweh Shemayim. Right. So, you know what I'm saying? Just because you, know? you don't believe, that don't mean we gonna lose sleep. Right. That, that listen, like <laughs> you're you you believing is not a requirement for the Lord. Right. Like you, the Lord don't care if you believe or not, because He already know who's gonna believe. Right. So he's if you don't believe it, so let's right. go what? He's gonna put the delusion on you not to believe in exactly. that in the first place. So obviously He don't care. He, he created He created <laughs> right. a specific spirit. <laughs> he, he he created he created a specific spirit, spirit to give you the delusion of unbelief, right? And then he right. put that spirit on you, right? And then all the uh, all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithful. Right. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, what it, what it, uh, scripture said that the Lord give you a strong the illusion to believe a lie. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because He put that spirit on you. I mean that means He's not dealing with you. You know what I'm saying? Like Romans 3 and 3 said, For what if some did not believe, shall their unbelief make the faith of the most high without effect? Right. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We don't we don't give a damn what you believe, man. That's right. right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like I don't mean to cut you off, because uh niggas always tend to say in their mind, oh, because I don't believe it, it's not gonna happen. Uh -huh. Like nigga. Right. There was a whole bunch of people that probably heard them twin towers was gonna go down and they said it's not gonna happen and they actually died when them shits fell. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's the same thing now, nah, man. The Lord said He gonna make some shit happen. Just because you don't think it's gonna happen, that don't fucking stop the program, man. Right. The Lord, the Heavenly Father, not gonna stop His movie because one nigga don't believe. Oh shit, Jim doesn't believe. I'm gonna nuke this place. Let me not nuke this place because Jim doesn't believe it. No, man. Right. Shit don't work like that, man. Yeah, like the like the whole world didn't believe Noah. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Believe Noah, man. There was partying. There was doing a bunch of wicked shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Noah, what, prophesied for like a hundred and some odd years? Yeah, two hundred. Two, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Years. All these years of, of uh, prophesied, man. You know what I'm saying? Jake would not believe, man. You know what I'm saying? But when they found the rain, hey, shit, it was too late. Mm -hmm. right? You know? Yeah. And like that, you know what I'm saying? The doors, like, damn near closed. 
you know, and, for mercy. And that was prophecy because the Lord said he was going to kill all them people, man. Right. You know, yeah. just, as, just as now. Our people don't believe, that's great because if we had to wait on them to believe, Probably never, we'll never get us out of here. If everybody had to had to wake up, you know. Right. The Lord is going to deliver the elect, and He's going to destroy two thirds of our people in the heathens. So you ain't got to believe, man. That's right. You know, I, I got something on um, here. Second Peter chapter three, verse. Um, I start at verse three. Knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers, walking after their own lusts, because they, they, their lust is for America to go on. You know. For whatever reason that they want, whatever wicked reason they want this place to go on, you know, and don't want these prophecies to come to pass. At the end of the day, you just don't want our Lord and Savior to come back, which makes you an enemy of your house shot. You and know, quick, if, I, if I may say this, that's why in Romans 3 and 4 it says, make, uh, take the most high, uh, or every man, is, uh, let every man be a liar and the most high be true. Yeah, 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 go ahead. Romans 3 and 4, the most high forbid, yeah, let the most high be true. But every man's a liar. And so to, to, to hell what, what we saying or what anybody else on, uh, in the world saying is right, bro. But like we started off, we, we were going to start off in 2 Ezra 9 and 1. Bro, the Lord is speaking right now. You you you, you can't come, you, you got no other explanation than, the, than to say that the, 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 the prophecies are coming to pass, man. So for you to be saying that, it, 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 that oh, no, this, this, or no, nah, we ain't in that time, to, hey, then that means the most high ain't dealing with you. He didn't give you the armor. He didn't give you what you needed for the salvation because knowledge, wisdom, and understanding is going to be the stability of that time. And that's what we worried about. You niggas are worried about uh, what we saw today. Uh, 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 showing out. Uh, yeah. <laughs> showing out. That's what, that's what the world worried about. Showing out, yeah. yeah. And what? They naked. Okay, yeah. we, the, the, the Lord's going to come back, he's going to see you, you ain't going to have the garment on, you're going to be ashamed, you're going to be trying to cover up, you know, spiritually, and you're going to be caught out there, man, because you didn't want to believe, you didn't want to believe on the words of the Lord, because that's what matters at the end of the day, the words of the Lord, man. Oh, you some? Yeah, I think Mark still has some. I have more on this, but yeah, I have like uh, verse or two left. Right here. Uh, Psalms 91 <laughs> and uh, verse 15. Uh, he shall call upon me, and I will answer him. No, I read 14 again because he had uh, set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high because he had known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. Hey, we, so like real quick, we know that uh, in, in, the, in the New Testament it says that there is no other name under heaven which is given unto men wherewith we might be saved. So who, who else is calling you? How about Shemel Shai, the two names of the heavenly father, man? That's right. Who else, man? They call it on, oh, yeah. on, on Jeebus Creepers, man. <laughs> That's what they call it. Jeebus! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, in the, in, the, in the time to come, you know, Jacob Trouble, you know what I'm saying, the world is going to know who's the most high elect are, man. Yeah. Right, yeah. You know what I'm saying? They're going to be like, they're gonna be like uh, what's your what's your guy's name, man? What's his name, man? You know what I'm saying? They're the same prophet that you passed by, man. Right. Mm -hmm. hey, and this is, and, 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 and the exact reason of what's happening right now, with the Lord giving his name back to his prophets and us declaring the name, this is exactly why the nations became confederate against Israel right. to take away the name because they knew what it meant when Israel called upon the name of Yahweh Shemesh. Right. 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 They, right. they commanded uh, the power, right? Yeah. Okay. They so. commanded the apostles in Acts to not teach the name. Right, right. <laughs> <You know? laughs> they beat them for that. And the heathens, they only they knew that. So what, like Brother Mayo said, that they were confederate to take that. Make sure they didn't know who we were and take the name from us because what, what would they always do? They they figured out, look, let's sack the temple. Let's take them away from their power. Right. And then, look, they're going to fall. That's it. It, it's, it's easy. But now, what? The, the temple is spiritual. spiritual. So you right. can't sack the temple. Right. So you that's can't why, put the name away no more. Right. right. But that's why they're going to come after us and that's why the yeah. world going to stand up and set up that standard. Man. That's right. Because now you're not going to touch my people. Yeah, you could destroy right. my temple. Right. Yeah, I was angry with them. That's why I cast them out of the land. But now they done figured it out and they called the, 
they done called their sense to remembrance and they turned away from that. You feel me? And they seeking me and this is the last end. So now, you ain't gonna fucking touch my temple, man. You ain't gonna touch my fucking people. I'm gonna come through and I'm gonna fuck you up, man. That's right. That's right. Yeah. And then also to let you know the name's so powerful, when uh, when Edges was talking to, uh, when Edges was with Uriel, I believe, and when he, he asked, he showed them the, uh, the vision of, of the uh, late getting crowned, he explained to them, but the last, I believe the last thing he said was those that stood so stiffly for the name of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh yeah, Shah. Right. These, right. these are they. Stood, stood, stood stiffly for the name of uh, the Lord. I mean, he stood stiffly when? In their time of need. Yeah. In the time of Jacob's trouble. When things start hitting the fan, these men are going to have that. They're going to be armed yeah. to the T with the name and everything else comes with that. That's, that's why the scriptures say, uh, uh, it says, seek the kingdom of heaven and righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. Well, what do we need? We don't need the carnal shit. He give us that. He give us our daily bread. He give us food and, and bread. He give us to us. But we need the protection. We need the we need to be provided the protection, and we need to be provided the um you know to be prepared for the times that comes. Right? He's giving us that through the through the scriptures, um, definitely with the name, man. God has said up in Matthew four four, you know, say we live not by bread alone, mm -hmm. but uh, but every word that come out of the heavenly Father's mouth, man. That's right. You know what I'm saying? And this and this what we live by, man. You right. know what I'm saying? We, we we live by faith, man, not by sight, man. All right. You know, yeah, our faith is well gonna keep us because you standing stiffly for the names of Yahweh by Shimei Abu Shai, we ain't gonna let that be confounded before the world. You know, I got this in Revelation chapter 3, verse so like, 10. So like, bro, let that brother read that last scripture. He's got like one huh. verse left in the uh, in Come on, I'm, I'm gonna read this. Yeah, might had uh, that precept you quoted on deck too. Huh. All right, you know, uh, back at Psalms 91 and um, verse 16. This last uh, last verse, it says, uh, "With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation." Yeah. Fourteen tells you tells you that, that he will set set him on high because he knows the name, and then the end result is salvation. Nice. Mm -hmm. right, get brand what you have, bro. Uh, Revelation three verse ten, it says, "Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of salvation, which shall come upon all the to try." that dwell upon the earth you know and, and, and the word kept me to attend to carefully man you know to watch to guard and when you out there on the streets and in your daily life walking in this truth man posting up videos fellowshipping man putting off that old man you attending to this to the word of the lord's patience and we know patience also means suffering too you know enduring constantly enduring real quick i think suffering is, is forsaking the old man Right. That, that takes suffering because you got to suffer through that. It's, right. a, it's like it's like you know to put it in a world in example. It's like the crack kid. You take away what he wants the most. That crack. What happens is the withdrawal. That's the part yeah. part. But once you get past that, yeah. then it, hey, it's smooth sailing. So that, it, you know, once you make it through something like that, and for and you, for an actual purpose, like brother said, if those men are gonna be standing stiffly, why are they gonna be standing stiffly? Because they actually believe they didn't just go. suffer for this thing and I have to do this and I have to forsake that so that I can be found worthy. Right. You've already right. trained your mind to do that. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. I mean if you can train if you can train your mind to, to uh mm -hmm. you know to uh forsake your lust you can overcome anything. Exactly. Uh -huh. the uh, not the but there's a saying that says train your mind and your body will follow. That's right. Right. Mm -hmm. it, it all begins in the mind and, and look the mm -hmm. Lord has cleansed mm -hmm. our minds with the scriptures. Right. You know? And who else who else is doing it? Who, who, who else is, is fulfilling this, you know? But for the man who are, the Lord said he's going to keep us in the hour of temptation, man. Yes. Which means he's going to attend to us carefully. He's going to guard us. He's going to give the angels charge over us, man. You hear this truth. You hear the apostles. You hear the, the brothers. And, and, and brothers are, are prophesying about destruction and death, man, that's coming. And this, that's the fear of the Lord upon you, you know, because you, you believe. So you don't have to be in the fire, you know, when a nuclear missile drops. So you don't have to... Um, Starve in the family because you believe in Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai and you cling to him, you know. Yeah. And then also um, keeping his patient. I mean, you've been you've been um, enduring in his truth, standing in that in that uh, straight gate. Yeah. Then he's going to keep you from the hour of temptation, which is the the microchip. When, when he brings the micro, microchip forward, when everybody's going to be presented, he's going to give you the strength to not take that chip and yeah. to and, and to and to 
you know, go off the grid and, and put your faith in him. Right. I mean, he's going to provide you what you need in those times. Mm -hmm. You don't have to you don't have to lean on Esau, you know, like like two thirds are going to do because he took away your goodies. You're going to have that shield of faith to the flip. This is uh. Now, if I look at you, did you bring out that second answer? If you got it, bring it out. I had it first. Take me the uh. I had another scripture. You actually. want the second answer, huh? No, nah, I was going to uh, Isaiah 10. The, uh, the remnant of Jacob shall no more stay upon them that smoke them. This, this is Isaiah chapter uh, 10, and uh, this is Isaiah chapter 10 and, and 20. It says, and it shall come to pass. In that day that the remnant of Israel and such as are escaped of the house of Jacob shall no more again stay upon him that smote him, smote them, but shall stay upon the Lord, the Holy One of Israel. In truth, the remnant shall return even the remnant of Jacob unto the mighty power. Right. So it says, you know, read the next verse. Too. Oh, God. It says, for though thy people Israel be as the sand of the sea, yet a remnant of them shall return. Meaning two thirds are not going to return. God. Just a remnant of the sand of the sea. There's no come back to the to y'all by sitting down shot and believe. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. The consumption decreed shall overflow with righteousness. For the Lord God of hosts shall make a consumption even determined in the midst of all the land. All right, so you know the point I, uh, I was getting at was verse twenty. All right, about how the remnant, all right, that elect remnant according to the election of race, like Paul said in Romans eleven. All right, how they would stay, which means to rely or to lean upon the Lord, okay, and not lean upon Him that smote them. All right, which is in this chapter the Assyrian, which you know that's a metaphor for Esau. So it's going to come a time, you know, where it's going to be, you know, the cutoff system as far as, you know, hey, which that's beautiful, you know, hey. <laughs> Look, the, the, the curses say that we're going to go to our enemy for one of all things. That's a curse. All right? When really, really, we're supposed to be serving the Lord with joy, fullness, and gladness. And one of all things. Right? All right? Now, through your house shot, the curses are, are being taken off of us right now. Okay? And we, we're entering into, you know, a, a new and living world. Entering into the new covenant. We're not in it yet, but we're entering into it. So the Lord's going to take, right, that transition. So the Lord's going to take the curses off of us. And, and we're going to start to have to rely on the Lord more, man. Right, right. Okay? And he's right. going to take care of us, man, to the point where it's going to be miraculous things taking place, man. Right. Hey, okay? Right. Right. So not that I interrupt you, but we, us that actually believe that we're doing this work, we're going to be confounded the way the Lord comes to us in these last days, brother. Right. Come through yeah. for us in, in miraculous ways that we never thought possible, bro. Right. It's going to be some, we, it, 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 in the worst case scenario, dire straits, the Lord going to do something that he... Man, it, it, it's got to be the Lord that just got me out of that. Like, right. he's been doing this whole time. Right. Yeah, the most high God is out of all kinds of situations, so how much more when we really need him right. in the time of Jacob's trouble, man? Right. I mean, you know, uh, just like Lot. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about the whole entire city was was uh, wicked. You know what I'm saying? But Lot depended upon your Havah Shem, your Havah Shah, man. And God had favor. You know what I'm saying? To escape the uh, judgment of your Havah, your Havah Shah, man. Right. It, it, you know? it, it, and to go even deeper, it was because a friend of the Most High was praying for that man. Uh -huh. it, you know what I'm saying? So, uh -huh. so, so that goes to show you that look, you, you, the ones that you love and the ones that you pray for, the Lord ain't just gonna leave them out there. Uh -huh. it, you know, because that's why at the end of the day, Lot was saved because Abraham vouched for him. Uh -huh. You know, and then the Lord sent them angels in there, and and, and he was found worthy to be saved. But his wife wasn't, you know what I'm saying? Right. So, hey, the Lord is looking out for those that have been predestinated for, but we have to believe that. All this has got all this that we talk about, if you don't believe it, man, it's, it's like talking to a wall. Yeah. But you, you have to truly believe it because it's, it's easy to say, yeah, man, I believe me, I watch me outside. But what are you going to do when the shit hit the fan? Are you going to, the first thing in your mind should be, yeah, I watch me outside. Do you believe enough? To call on his name in the worst position you've ever been in your life, that's going to take faith to do. But if you do it, he's going to be there for us. A uh, brother quoted earlier, but who had uh, who had the Lord forsaken and had called upon him? Right. That was a rhetorical question, man. Mm -hmm. yeah. If you call upon the uh, name of Yahweh Hashem outside, and, and without doubting, okay, he's going to be there for you. 
Mm-hmm. All right, mm-hmm. it, it, that, that's it, man. It, it, we gotta believe that in these last days when he's about to magnify himself, man. Mm-hmm. You know, the, the, the world is about to know who Yahweh Shemiah is. Go ahead, I got a research back on what you're saying. This is uh, Second Ezra 9 and 7. Everyone that is of the shall the be saved. saved. And shall be able to escape the escape by his works and whereby faith whereby he have believed. So that's how that's how you gonna make it. With your faith whereby you have believed. Because give up on that. Uh, Romans twelve and verse two. He said, uh, and be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, which is which is faith. You know what I'm saying? That ye may be proved what what is that good and acceptable and perfect the will of the most high, man. You know what I'm saying? You gotta be transformed, you know what I'm saying, by the Holy Spirit, man. You know what I'm saying? The most high have to put that spirit of of, of, of life faith on you, on you, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's to believe, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, faith is a gift. Faith is a spirit. You got yeah. it. I got something. <laughs> yeah. and, and faith and faith, true faith will make you do things in the sight of the world that make you look stupid and crazy. Right. Yeah. Right. right. Fools. Mm-hmm. And, uh, uh, Noah was both building a boat, talking about rain. Is. But what? He he had faith. That, yeah. Hey, this is what the Lord said. Hey, look, nobody, people were smocking him and all kind of, you know, who knows what they were telling Noah, man. But what faith, it, it ended up cause, uh, cashing in, so to say. And this is where we at. We had the point where we about to cash in our chips, so to say. That's right. That's right. That's right. Where, 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 where are them chips coming from? We've been slurring up in the heavens, That's where right. our heart is, you know? Mm-hmm. you know? Yeah, man. Let me bring that out. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 7. By faith. Noah being warned of the most high of things not seen as yet, moved with fear. You move with fear. You don't just hear these words and just sit sit right. upon it and, and be the same person you were before. Yeah, you know? Right. You know, you move with fear. Noah actually built an ark. We building a spiritual ark. Because if we tried to build a, a physical ark, he saw a, a fucking text yeah. and try to watch the subject. Tax codes, compliance codes, or right. 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 You know? compliance codes. But I mean the Lord the Lord said he ain't gonna uh, right. you know destroy the world by water anymore. Right. So, right. Yeah. You know, there's no need for right. 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 I mean the nukes will come and blow our ass away. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, right. <laughs> Both of them canoe. Right. Yeah. 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 So, <laughs> but we go out on the streets and we were we we have our garments on and then we preach the word in front of in front of the world, letting them know that we, we tell them America is going to be destroyed by nuclear missile fire. Yet we all live in America. Exactly. Right. You know, that's that faith, man. It, it be, uh, we increase that which the Lord gave us. Mm-hmm. Right. You know, because those that don't do nothing, you know, those, they they have the talents in the that. Right. You know, right. They, knowing yeah. the fear of the Lord, knowing that he was an austere man. Right. That's what he said. Uh, well, well, you knew that I was an austere man, mm-hmm. uh, uh, reaping that which I sow not, and you still hit this telling and napping. Right. Right. You know, he 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 with many stripes. many stripes. You knew the will of the master, right? right. right? And and like brother uh, just read uh, through about the fear. That's the first step. Yep. The first step is the, if you don't fear the Lord, you're not going to do nothing. He said, right. <laughs> you know, right. you're not going to know that. Exactly. That's the beginning right. of knowledge. Right. 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 You didn't know the. the First principles of this doctrine, you have to fear the most high. Right. And until it's, you do that, you ain't gonna know that. This is scripture that says the fear of the Lord is, is roughly paraphrased, the fear of the Lord is the first step to be accepted of. Mm-hmm. Right. Roughly paraphrasing, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. So if you don't fear the Lord, there's no hope for you, man. All right. <laughs> so let me finish this. Well, I'm gonna read the verse again on uh, Hebrews 11 and 7. By faith, Noah being warned of the Heavenly Father of things not seen as yet, moved with fear, prepared an ark to the saving of his house. By the which he condemned the world and became heir of the righteousness, which is by faith, man. And the scriptures say, man, we have faith. Then, then are we the sons of the children of Abraham, man? You know, the, you know. Then we gonna obtain the righteousness and the promises that the heavenly Father uh, promised to us. You gotta believe in it, though. You know. And then by that, it condemns the world too. You know, cause shit. Somebody showed you the twelve trial sign. Somebody showed you the twelve trial sign. You know, and you believe. You know. But somebody else saw it and they didn't believe. Right. You know, you heard the apostles cussed us out. Right. You know, stop doing you, you, you doing this shit, doing this, doing this shit. Others heard it and they didn't have it. They didn't mix it with faith. They got you know, yeah. even if you, if you have a faith as grain as a mustard seed, right? You know what I'm saying? So.
Hey man, you just gotta have faith, man. No, we just gotta believe, man. Yep. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Yep. That's yep. why y'all said when I return. That's it, because that's what this is about. It's about enduring to the end. Right. Yep. So that's why the Lord is like, well, when I come back, am I gonna find a faith? Right. Like, yeah, you can do all the videos. That's why you gonna have men who gonna be like, uh, Lord, 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 Lord. Like here we uh, teach in your name all of these different things, but the Lord's gonna be like, get away from me. I don't know you. I got you, sir. All right, go ahead. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 7, verse, uh, I'm going to start at verse 21. Matthew, I'm going to start at verse 19. It says, Every tree that beareth not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire. Mm -hmm. Wherefore, by their fruits ye shall know them. Right. So, by the fruits, is it going to be good fruit or bad fruit? And everybody know what bad fruit is, cold even if you see it on a tree, like you say, it's cold or hot. If you see bad fruit on a tree, the shit got worms in it, it's all wrinkly, rotten, it don't look good. Yeah. Say what? And it smells. Yeah, and it smells. It's flying around the You know? It's corrupt. So yeah, you, you, you notice, and we see it today, there's corrupted men in the faith. But hey, the, the, the Lord is saying, hey, I'm gonna throw them out. All right, because even in this faith, you know, which you got evil men crept in unaware. That's why you even see amongst, especially other camps like ISUPK and Sakara and all that, you see a bunch of beefing and you see a bunch of guys who going at each other's throats. See what I'm saying? Because this is the type of stuff that's gonna have to be cleansed, mm -hmm. you know? And we don't wanna be a part of it. We wanna make sure that we know what we have to do in the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem al Shai to be better. But yeah, go ahead. Yeah, he said that for the book of Luke. He said, why call me Lord, Lord, and not do what I say? Right? Exactly. You know what I'm saying? I mean, this part of uh, eating the whole road, man. If, if, you know what I'm saying? saying? You love me, keep my commandments. That's right. right. Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So you wanna endure. Wanna you wanna make sure you, you live in this. Right. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. about it's it. Not and about it looks like you do it. It's about the walk. Right. Right. walk. Actions speak a lot of words. You could talk all damn day, but if you ain't living it, then right. everything you say in vain. Right. You, know? you, you might be out there camping, you point right. the finger at everybody, but then you're yeah. growling and everything. Yeah. Yeah. You Oh, you got to go yeah, quick reset. James chapter 1 verse 22 But be doers of the word And not hearers only Deceiving your own self And remember yeah, the Yahweh's brother said this This is a man that grew up Under Yahweh's side you know yeah. See, He's watching him and he, was, he was one of the 12 disciples For a reason You know what I'm saying And he's saying that don't be a hearer of the word only Be a doer That's, that's a heavy statement bro because that's what the majority of our people do. Like the Lord said, these people draw an eye to me with their mouth. For their hearts are far from me. Man, look, this, the Lord ain't looking for hypocrites. He, 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 ha, ha. All right, he's looking for action. Because he's good. You can say you love me, but what do you, how do you show you? You got to show me you love me. So right. you can say you love the Lord, but how do you show you love the Lord, right? Okay, that's why in these last days it shall be known who are my prophets. Right? Mm -hmm. That those that that walked in faith, all right, because what Paul said, I shall show you my faith by my works. Those that that walk in the faith, okay, because that's what the, walking in faith means. You doing something. You move, like brother said, uh, the brother Ramon was reading. Um, uh, you moving. Mm -hmm. You know, you 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 doing something moving to show. Because if you're not moving, you stagnant. You stagnant waters. And stagnant waters are dead. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There ain't no life in stagnant waters. But right. Right. to 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 walk in the faith. It's gonna be known who are the Lord's in these last days, because they're gonna be. It's gonna be known, bro. There ain't no other. There's gonna be no other explanation to be like, dang, this. And you know, people are gonna see it, man. Yeah, you know, right. like, man, there's something different about this dude. Yeah, like, clearly, clearly, oh, you know, no, I was just saying. Clearly, the Lord gonna be defending us on on yeah, a certain right, level. Right, right, right. We those men, it ain't gonna be no 
choice in that day. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be like, okay, this guy did this, and his whole body just spontaneously combusted and he disintegrated. <laughs> and then this guy did somewhat similar and he's just fine. Right. And nobody's coming against them. And every time somebody come up against them, they end up dead, right. hurt, right. Right. or they bug out, right. or they start believing in the same thing he believed in. Right. That's how big the difference is gonna be. Like, mm-hmm. wait a minute, this guy disintegrated in this one. Everything they go, something good happened. That's what Clearly, said. the Lord would. Right. You know? The Lord said we gonna have abundance. That the, the heathen shall see us and not be able to do it. Right. The heathen shall see us and envy us and not be able to do anything. <laughs> exactly. Because what the Lord is gonna lift up that standard and He's gonna take care of His men. Look, it's the time for the outwashing our side to be glorified through His men. We've been m- murdered, uh, hung up on crosses. Throughout all our generations, we've been put to death all, in all kind of ways. Now it's time for Yahweh Washing our show. We just saw like a Yahweh Washing our show to show who his men are, man. You've been killing them all these years. Right. You've been killing them all these time. Now what you going to do now? When, when we have abundance and you can't do nothing. Why can't they do nothing? Here they said, the scriptures say that heathen shall envy us. Yeah, got, Esau's got, part. You got the scripture? I got the scripture. Okay, get that. It's like us just two. I started to. We're not saying that. That's what the Lord said. Right. And it's like it. Serving. It said serving. Right. Right. In his house now. Right. Why are we serving you? So we don't have to go through the hell that's coming. Right. Because you, well, you have to serve him. Like, yeah. If you're not serving him, then this ain't even talking to you. Right. right. Exactly. Exactly. Go ahead, though. But it, that's what I was going to say also in Revelation 3. Uh, for the ones that have kept my word. Right. Right. You know? Right. Uh, uh, Second Edges two and twenty six as for the servants whom I have chosen thee, who I have given thee, Salaki, there shall not one of them perish, for I will require them from among thy number. Right, that 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 never happened, because the the the, the servants of the Lord always have died, yeah. right. and it said not one of them shall perish. Yeah, that's so that hasn't, ha- hasn't happened exactly. This, this, this all the disciples of the Lord died. Right. Except John was taken to an island in Patmos. He ended up dying though. Right. This is the time for you to watch someone like glorify himself, mm-hmm. whether he be a martyr or not. Hey, maybe just uh, uh, just a one third, a follower of the Lord might be a martyr. Our mindset is we try to <laughs> see the downfall of this place and then see the house like come back and save us. Right. But mm-hmm. keep going because it's going to get even juicier. Hey, but meaning that, that our mindset is look. Perishing is not an option. Yeah. Okay, you you in the championship game shit, we might lose. Okay, you on into the game with that mindset, you lose. You gonna lose. Right. right. We trying to win. Right. The Lord has gave us all the tools, he gave us the best team in history. We 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 got nothing to worry about. The, the yeah. word told us what's gonna happen. Okay. Yeah, now we, we just need to believe in this, you know? Yeah. You know we, have, we have Yahweh, we have we have mm-hmm. Yahweh Shah, the high priest, making mm-hmm. intercession for us. Exactly. You know, we have the angels watching over us, man. We we have we have an it, we have a trans-dimensional bodyguard crew <laughs> and army, you know, defending us. So hey, we good, man. That's right. You know what I'm saying? We just gotta believe Lord made the point about you know martyrs and stuff like that. What's to say the Lord can't raise you from the dead? Exactly. You know what I'm saying? It's still a win. Yeah, it's still a win. And he, he can can he will. He will. So, right. just talk about that, right? Right. right. So, 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 like I was going to say, there'll be some here that, you know, that died, you know, they're going to be raised up first, and the rest of us who are alive are going to meet up with them, man. Right. right. Uh, the Lord rose people from the dead. He said, the things I do, you shall do for great. Right. 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 You know, he he rose from the dead. Right. 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 He rose from the dead. And this, and this, and this, believing. Is part of going into spiritual power. Yep. You know, so yeah, that so is the spiritual power in itself. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Believe me, because what it is a gift. So it, that, that spiritual power is a gift. Mm-hmm. You know, when we brothers be able to fly, that's a gift. But what the, the most important gift is believing. Right. And you have watching our side because right. people don't people don't believe faith. You know, people have faith in in, in carnal things. Oh, I'm gonna get my paycheck at the end of the week. But mm-hmm. believing in something you can't see. That's why the house I told uh, uh who is it, Thomas, blessed are they that have not seen and believed. Mm-hmm. Yep. Look, look, you by the, the world is gonna realize that these men that that that, that were saying these things off of faith, 
you're going to really see that those are were true men. Lord's will be those men. You're going to be like, man. It, it, it really takes a, a true man to believe in what the scriptures say. Yeah. You have to be a true man to believe in it. Can, can, I, can, I, can I like, like uh, back you up real, real quick, right quick? Just one uh, precept right quick. Uh, the uh, book of Acts 1 and verse 8, he said, But ye shall receive power. Mm -hmm. After that, the Holy Spirit has come up upon you, and ye shall be witness unto me, both in Jerusalem and in Judea and in Samaria, and unto the uttermost part of the earth, which is, you know what I'm saying, America, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? He said that ye shall receive power, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We're going to have those spiritual powers, man, which is the uh, start with the hundred and, and, uh, four, and uh, 44,000, man. You know what I'm saying? saying? Mm -hmm. And this is a promise. Say that he shall receive power, man. Mm -hmm. You know? And, and mm -hmm. Lord only going to grant that to those who actually believe it. Right? Yeah. 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 Asking you shall receive it. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, because you have none. Right. Hey, but keep going to finish that off. So in Judges 2 and uh, 26, I read again, As for the servants whom I have given thee, there shall not one of them perish. Mm -hmm. And also, when they say, you know, when. Like you, you know, like you said, it, it shall no one of them perish. That's a foreshadowing of y'all shine because this was written before the Lord actually mm -hmm. lived the scene. I know what the scene, but you know, anytime when the scriptures talking about the Old Testament and, and, and apart from what we read about, also when we read in the second edge of the second chapter, and uh, when men spoke about when they was prophesying, when they spoke about overcoming death and. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna still be here. Yeah, you can do whatever you want. I'm gonna still be here. You know what I'm saying? Which is, which is, which is power, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's power. Man. Spiritual power. Yeah. That's, that's, that was, that's, that's the spirit of Yahweh Shai. Yeah. No, you, 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 they can't stop me. Even if they stop, me, I'm gonna still. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Even if I die. Yeah. I'm gonna still be in this shit. <laughs> yeah. What did, what did uh, David say when it fall against uh, Goliath? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I come in the name of Yahweh Shai. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He spoke it into existence, man. You know what I'm saying? And he took a rock and, you know what I'm saying, he yes. killed the giant, man. Yeah. Because he believed, man. And that's spiritual power. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. 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 the spirit that we're talking about is spiritual power, man. Right. Keep, brother, keep coming to it. Coming yeah. back to it. No, brother, about to do something. Oh, yeah. This is the time. Have it. It. We had the end of this thing, so spiritual power is a part of it. Yeah, something about to happen. But go ahead. It's like it's just 2 and 20. Uh, uh, Six, I read one more time. As for the servants whom I have given thee, there shall not one of them perish, for I will require them from among thy number. Be not weary, for when the day of trouble and heaviness cometh, others shall weep and be sorrowful, but thou shalt be merry and have abundance. Right. Yeah, right. So what, what's the time of the day of trouble? The time of day of trouble. So we get into that time. Yeah. We in that time. And look, it, the scripture say we're going to be merry and have abundance. What, what was this weekend consist of? Us being married, having abundance. So how much more when we really need it? Right. Right? While well, people are waiting in, in food lines for 18 hours to get to the front of the food line and then tell them that they ain't ran out of food, you know, people are starving right now in America. Right. In America, yeah. people are starving. Yeah. They're losing jobs. They're getting evicted. We over here rejoicing, having a merry time, and we, we, we got abundance. We got no life for the Lord to take care of us. Go ahead. You know why he saw giving these uh, niggas these uh, stimulus checks? Yeah, yeah. He know you hurt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. hey, well, listen, somebody, somebody yeah. give you money, yeah. give right. you hundreds of dollars. Here it is. Donald Trump sat down in his lap in that speech uh, right before they did the Capitol uh, 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 riot thing. He said that he was like, "Well, why won't they pass the two thousand dollar bill? He, uh, the stimulus check?" He's like, "People, people, people want." thousand dollars <laughs> let the people live. hey bro they just want to give you all the money man it's not much that's why <laughs> yeah, yeah, anytime you saw giving you anything they're gonna free. crash it yeah, in yeah, exactly yeah. right anytime <laughs> you saw giving you anything for you need to look at it like oh hold on now right. <laughs> what's behind me yeah exactly <laughs> So no but reason. Nah, but the, read the next verse. It's verse twenty-eight. Uh, so, so like real quick, it said we're gonna have we're gonna be married, have abundance, right? Mm -hmm. right. Go ahead. Second Ezra chapter two, verse twenty-eight. The heathen shall envy thee, mm -hmm. but they shall be able to do nothing against thee, right. saith the Lord. That's what that's right. what the Lord said. Right. Right. So we're gonna have we're gonna be married, have a good time, have rejoicing, have abundance. The heathen, include two thirds of considered heathens. Yeah. Right. He saw all of them 
Yeah. So they're not gonna be able to do nothing. Right. But remember, Esau, if Esau is a heathen, right? This man's blessing is the sword. This is it. The earth is given to his hand. He not gonna be able to do nothing. Right. What was gonna make that happen? Right. It was the uh, elder of war here that I heard him first say that. What's gonna make them not be able to do nothing to us? Right. The spiritual powers. Right. 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 In fact, it, 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 say, it say Isaiah. Uh, what's that? Fifty four. Um, no weapon that is formed against these no, shall no, prosper. Right. Mm -hmm. right. So yeah, they gonna do something. Of they can, and 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 the Lord set it up perfectly because He gave them their weaponry. He gave them uh, certain abilities, and just like Goliath, and David and Goliath, He made it seem like oh, who we going up against God and everything? They got an unstoppable defense. You know, they got uh, uh, iron teeth. They got. They got power beyond on another level to make it seem like everybody else, uh, he, that guy is unstoppable. Just so when uh, the Most High raised up the, who the man he's dealing with, the man he's dealing with, to uh, overcome, it'll be just that much a greater victory. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. Hey, bro. Uh, you sure you read the next two verses? Mm -hmm. uh, Salakia. Yeah. Uh, Second Ezra is chapter 2. Uh, second Ezra chapter two and verse twenty. Shall I see here? Joyful, O mother, with thy children, for I will deliver thee from. Uh, I will deliver thee, saith the Lord. So, so the Most High ain't just gonna protect brothers. Yeah, yeah, they right. women and their children. That's why the scriptures. Uh, uh, she she. This man, you yeah. know, and the children off top is that man's seed is being delivered. Yeah. On one side, he's gonna, he gonna cover your whole house. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like when the Moses had went to war with the different nations, you know what I'm saying? How was protected the against family like Joshua? You know, all these great warriors that went to war, you know what I'm saying? How was how was to protect the nation of Israel? And likewise, in the time to come, man, you know what I'm saying, we're going to be uh, protected, man. Mm -hmm. There's nothing new under the uh, sun, man. Hey, real quick, because that's one of the things the Lord hates, a, 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 a man of war that is in poverty, right? We we in the war. Yeah. So you think yeah. the Lord's going to leave us poor? He's not a righteous. He, exactly. Right. So he's going to, he the, the rich, the real riches is, is, is what? Spiritual. Spiritual riches. Right. You can't see the salvation. It's not just an understanding. We, we in this battle, right? Uh -huh. So the Lord ain't gonna, uh, that's, he hates to leave a man of war to make me poor. Hey, bro, you know? hey, hey, bro, in the ancient biblical time, they'd be on the field warring, but then they would stop and retreat. Mm -hmm. Both sides go back, count their dead, and you count their members, and they see how many men they lost, and they would go back to do what? To eat. Okay. So they can, what? Have energy to fight another day. Mm -hmm. That's one of the things the most sides gonna arm you with. He's gonna arm you with what? Everything you need, uh, spiritually and physically. He's gonna give you food and drink God. and protection. God, he said, "My service shall shall eat." Yeah, my service shall drink. Yeah. Um, okay. Real quick, um, this is uh, Acts chapter sixteen and verse thirty-one. It says, "And they said, Believe on the Lord Yahweh and Mashiach, and thou shalt be saved in thy house." Mm -hmm. That's right. That goes with what I was reading in uh, the next two verses. Verse right, 29 and 26. The second edge is 2 29. Yeah, you're going to save your whole house. So you, and, and you have to believe that. You have to believe that. If you don't, like I always tell us, if you don't believe, you won't receive. That's right. That's right. That's right. And, and it's just a, that's the spirit. That's, that's, the, that's the way that these uh, um, wicked uh, vibrations get pushed out, pushed out on this earth. Is the, the the people of this world truly believe in the things that they, they, they're they doing. You know, like these millionaires or, or you know, uh, uh, millionaire business owners. They got to that point because they wholeheartedly believed in what their mission was and they achieved that on the left-hand side. We doing it on the right-hand side. How much more greater is that? Because it gave them wicked. We gave the wicked motherfuckers. He rewarded them for believing in this. In the left hand side. Hey, that's why the Lord said, I'd rather have you hot or cold. But because they are lukewarm, I shall speed you up, bro. If you're in the middle and you want to be wishy washy, really, you're in the middle, you don't want to be in the middle because what are you doing? You're stagnant. You, you just 
you're sitting there. Right. You ain't like, going with the flow. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how we drive with the flow. You ain't going with the flow. You ain't going with the flow. Where would the flow go? And that's confusion. That's sad. That's all. Do it or don't do it. That's all. How you gonna be lukewarm about wanting to receive salvation, man, and crown and immortality, everlasting life, and righteousness, man? You know. And that is why your brother quoted earlier about Joshua said, "Choose you this day who you will serve." He didn't say, "Okay, we'll think about it and then you know get back." He said, "Choose you this day, right? You know, right? You either with us or you against us." Let's just say. No, my bad, brother. I was just going to say it. I was going to say, let your yay be yay. Yay be yay. Either you want or you don't. Yeah, that's it. That's it's a proverbial line yeah. in the sand. Yeah. One side, what up? Yeah, yeah. All right. I'll bring it. I'll bring it. I'll bring it. Isaiah chapter 45, verse 17. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation. You shall not be ashamed nor confounded world without end. And that road without end is really beginning with the elect, the remnant, man. The Lord is not going to shame us and confound us. You, you, you put your, your love into your Abashim Yahshua and you fear him you, and you walk in him. The Lord is actually, the Lord is going to glorify himself through his men in these days, actually, man. You know, verse 18, for thus says the Lord, Yahweh, our power that created the heavens, the Most High himself that formed the earth and made it. He has established it. He created it not in vain. He formed it to be inhabited. I am the Lord, and there is nothing else. The scriptures say we're going to reign as kings and priests on the earth, man. So, hey, we we looking for, we, we, our thoughts right now is, is salvation and life, man. You know? Verse um, 19. Oh, it's like, you know, so also, he said, I think in 1 Corinthians 6, I think, he said, should the, the saints go to judge the world, man? Right. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And this, and this, uh, to the spirit of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah, man. That's right. You know what I'm saying? One, one more verse here, verse 19. I have not spoken in secret in a dark place of the earth. Mm -hmm. I said not unto the seed of Jacob, seek ye me in vain. Right. <laughs> I, the Lord, speak righteousness. I declare things that are right, man. Do so you serve me, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah? Hey, the Lord said, you, hey, any, any man who has forsaken uh, wives, houses, lands, you're going to receive. A hundredfold in everlasting life, man. Right. So the Lord ain't called us to seek him in vain, bro. Right. To have that faith and belief that when watch, watch right. and watch when shit hit the fan, you how about you shout with us and he ain't with everybody else. You know? God, if, God if, the, if the if the Lord trusts you to judge the world, no, you know what I'm saying? That's a that's a friend, man. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? That, that mean that you have been ordained by your heart to judge the world, man. Know what I'm saying? The Lord has confidence in you. Come. Yeah. 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 Oh. Slide. Let's break down some more. Revelation chapter 3, verse 11. <laughs> Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man yeah. take yeah. thy crown. Right. Right, so y'all shot coming quickly, man. We see the times that we're in, man. All right, uh, the scriptures been told us about it. You know, second edge is the ninth chapter to tell you when you see certain uh, parts of the signs happen, didn't know that the most high begin uh, begin to visit the earth. They made it. We see these signs happen, so y'all shot is coming quickly, man. Okay, so with that, you have to hold on. To that crown, man, to this faith, man. As the brother quoted earlier, cast not away your confidence, man, because it has a great recompense of reward, man. Yeah. When Yahweh Shah returns and he sees those who stick to what he believe uh what he told them by the hands of the presbyteries, which is the apostles, yeah. and, and, and they and we still moving in that, you know, Lord's will be found worthy, we're gonna be delivered, we're gonna receive those abide by the, the, the parameters that that we followed and set up and, 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 and spilled down the order, so to say, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like the uh, crown of life, you know what I'm saying? Which is, which is salvation, you know what I'm saying? Which is those new bodies, man. That's you know right. what I'm saying? Are we going to live? Man, we're never going to cry. You know what I'm saying? We're never going to sneeze. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Up in the <laughs> kingdom, my <mind. laughs> <laughs> You know what I'm saying? That's the crown of life, man. And that's what we're fighting for. And that's what we're fighting for, man. That's right. You know what I'm saying? We're fighting, we, we, are, we are fighting for salvation, man. You know what I'm saying? I mean, we're sick of this place, man. We need to get the fuck up out of here, man. That's right. That's right. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I mean, I mean, we are vexed daily, you know what I'm saying, by this wicked society, man. Like, my, you know, vexed by the filthy conversation.
conversation. Yeah. Well, this this place has nothing to offer you, man. You know, we you go out to, to society, so to say, and you look at the the, the spirit, and they really they're really uh uh. uh Why are these people entertaining doing this shit? You can't come up with a conclusion. That's what the, the scriptures say, man. The world is in enmity with the most time. Man. The Lord ain't with this shit, man. Especially now with everything. You need walk around with a mask and go in the car. That shit. Yeah. 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 This is to the point to where this has reached the lowest point yep. ever history of the of our yeah, existence. Yeah. Right, you can't even <laughs> <Yeah, right. laughs> <laughs> you know, know this society is, but look who's coming up. Yeah. Me and our Lord. <laughs> That's what it's all about, man. But yeah, you know, more will bros were edified. Um once more we want to give our praises. To your house, 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 your